Stop for a moment and think about it. The way we measure the passage of time on Earth has to do with the cosmos. What does it mean to grow old? It means being present for one more lap of the Earth around our star, the Sun. A great reason to celebrate, right? And this year, we're all invited to the birthday of a mysterious celestial artificial object which has been talking to us for 10 years. Who is this stranger sending us messages for so long? We'll get to that, but first, let's go shopping. You might have found yourself one summer evening looking up at the stars. You might have even tried counting them. If you live somewhere relatively far from the city, where light pollution doesn't brighten up the sky like the sun mid-August at Zenit, you might even have realized the monumental task you were trying to achieve. For some scientists, what you did is not just a nice activity to pass the time, but the focus of years of work. You've spent 10 minutes on it? They've spent a lifetime. But these scientists are passionate. In addition to having endless patience, they want to know more. They don't want to just count the stars. They want to analyze and catalog them. In short, they seek to create the largest and most comprehensive map of the sky. But being stuck on Earth, it's far from easy. This is where a birthday girl comes in. It all started in 1993. That year, dinosaurs dominated movie theaters, and the FBI began investigating unsolved cases on TV. At the same time, the European Space Agency began planning a space mission to quench scientists' thirst for knowledge. Her name? For those who haven't guessed yet, it's Gaia, of course. It's an artificial satellite whose mission is to map with extreme precision the positions and movements of over a billion stars in the Milky Way, the galaxy our solar system is part of, our home. Here's what it looks like. Imagine the conversation they must have had during one of the meetings. For sure, when planning a space mission, the first thing that comes to mind is to say, you know, what we really need is a space telescope shaped like a hat. That Anyway, it was finally launched 20 years later, on December 19, 2013. Yes, that time may seem long, but it was necessary for such a complex space mission. The first 13 years were dedicated to paper studies and optimization. The team had to develop the necessary technology to achieve the scientific objectives of the mission. A meticulous job that, starting from the knowledge accumulated over the years, requires the development of new ideas that would enable unprecedented levels of precision. But once the theoretical work is complete, it's time to transfer the calculation from paper to reality. An additional seven years were needed to design, build, and test this complex space mission. Because let's remember, not all missions can rely on the precision of a Swiss astronaut like Claude Nicolier, who, in case something goes wrong, can take a spacewalk to fix it, as with the Hubble Space Telescope. And in Gaia's case, it's good to remember that for a decade, the spacecraft occupied an orbit around the second Lagrange point of the Sun-Earth system, so 1.5 million kilometers from our blue planet. This point is also known as L2 and offers excellent characteristics for observation, as the Sun, Earth, and Moon are positioned outside the spacecraft's field of view. There is also a low level of radiation, a good thermal stability, and minimum fuel needed to stay in orbit around L2, the space sweet spot. When it was launched in 2013, the mission was initially designed for a five-year duration, with the option of adding one extra year of observations. Back in those days, in fact, it was not even sure that Gaia would ever reach this anniversary. But all the preparation work had been done so well that the mission has been extended up to more than 10 years and continues to gather valuable scientific data. You're probably thinking that all this is a lot of effort for not much. Why should we even care about mapping the stars around us? Well, the data collected by Gaia revolutionizes our understanding of the Milky Way. Firstly, did you know that stars move? That's right. 
Apart from the apparent motion that you can see at night due to the rotation of the Earth, all stars have motions of their own due to gravity. Because of their enormous distance, stellar movements are hardly noticeable. It usually takes thousands or tens of thousands of years to notice a shift with our eyes. Definitely too many birthdays. But this is an example of why the Gaia mission makes a difference. Thanks to its precision instrumentation, we can detect even the smallest movements of the stars without having to wait thousands of years. Just picture this. A gigantic camera captures a light coming from the stars. Information in the form of electromagnetic waves. Even thousands of light years away. With this, Gaia can write a directory of stars, where you can find positions, motions, brightnesses, colors, and detailed characteristics such as effective temperature and surface gravity. And when you put all of this data together, you get a detailed picture of the architecture of the Milky Way. In the end, to make a one-of-a-kind space mission, you need to assemble everything in the right proportions, just like our cake. More than 50 companies from all over Europe manufactured parts of Gaia, and these were carefully integrated in the clean room, an environment with highly pure hair. Piece by piece, Gaia was built up and tested for the harsh conditions of the launch and of its new home in cold space, far from Earth, 1.5 million kilometers away. Again, quite a trip. Just an example, one of the necessary tests was to verify the operation of the deployable sunshield integrated on the spacecraft. Since the sunshield would operate in microgravity, it was not designed to support its own weight here on Earth in the one gravity environment. So how do we test it on Earth? During the deployment tests, the panels were attached to a system of support cables and counterweights that bear their weight, preventing damage and providing a realistic testing environment. Spoiler alert, everything went well. In summary, Gaia is expanding our understanding of the Milky Way, opening new horizons for science and enriching our knowledge of the vastness of space. Another girl rocking that science. And only last year, Gaia has pushed again the boundaries of research with its latest data release. I've been in direct contact with the ESA Gaia team to gather some exclusive insights on the mission. Our Swiss insider, Maria Solle, found out some of its highlights. We have selected three of its surprising discoveries to share with you. So let's put the cake in the oven, and in the meantime, let's go to the classroom to understand them. First discovery, the DNA of stars. Stars have their own DNA, captured in their detailed color information. And like the one of humans, this can reveal some of the secrets about the ancestry. In fact, the material that makes up stars can tell us where they were born and where they have traveled, revealing the history of the Milky Way. With Gaia, we have studied the composition of stars in our galaxy, noting that some are mostly composed of primordial material. The material that was present shortly after the universe was created hydrogen, and helium. Others, like our sun, are made of matter enriched by previous generations of stars, which contains also other elements of the periodic table. Thanks to this study, we have been able to understand that the spiral arms of the galaxy are more enriched in metals than stars outside of them. The composition of our galaxy is therefore not homogeneous. Second discovery, new catalog of binary stars. Gaia published the largest catalog of stars with companions ever, allowing for the detection and characterization of binary stars. But what are binary stars? They are double stars, two stars orbiting each other. Perhaps you remember one of the great classics of the late 70s, Star Wars A New Hope. This movie opens on the surface of a very special planet called Tatooine, which has the characteristic of orbiting around a binary star. In the sky of the first scene, it is possible to see two luminous bodies in the sky, as if there were two suns. This is because Tatooine is a planet revolving around a system of binary stars. Studying binary stars is essential for understanding stellar evolution, testing gravitational theories, and discovering exoplanets, and even black holes. 
In fact, using Gaia's catalog of binary stars, astronomers have unveiled several dormant black holes that are the closest black holes to Earth known today. One is located at 1,560 light years, so still pretty far, but still near enough to earn us an article in the New York Times. Third discovery, the velocity of stars. Another crucial contribution from Gaia are the line of sight velocities of 33 million stars. But what are these and why are they important? The line of sight velocity is the speed at which objects move away from or towards us. And this provides the third dimension of velocity in Gaia's map of a galaxy. Gaia already published the two dimensional movement stars make across the sky for over 1.4 billion stars. The full set of 3D velocities is a superb data set to study the history and future of our Milky Way. The line of sight velocity of a star is important because it helps, for instance, to detect hidden objects and to have a three-dimensional view of the motions of stars. Even though Gaia's third data release is already a treasure trove, Gaia data release 4 is on the horizon. This grand woman now seems like she wants to keep on exploring. But this is understandable as it has a team of cheerleaders here on Earth rooting for her, some of whom have been with her since the day she was launched. A large pan-European team of expert scientists and software developers known as the Gaia Data Processing and Analysis Consortium is responsible for the processing of Gaia's data with the final objective of producing the Gaia Catalog. Well, our cake is baked. Let's see what it looks like. I guess Isa's cake looks better than mine. So what's your wish for the next decade of Gaia? More data, more stars, more secrets unveiled? Who knows, blow out the candles and maybe this will come true. In the meantime, happy birthday to our friend Gaia and don't be a stranger. Thank you to the European Space Agency for collaborating with us on this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel Galactic Chloe, put a little like and give us in comments what you think of the cake.